Hi guys, welcome back to today's tutorial and this one is going to be a really really fun one because you see I'll show you how to create all these lovely snow effects for the trees in a winter landscape. So yeah, let's jump right into our materials. So for brushes, I'll be using two sizes of mop brush, a flat brush to paint the larger areas, a synthetic brush for details. And then, of course, we will need some salt. And this is the secret ingredient to creating all this lovely snow effect. And this one, I'm just using a normal table salt. You can see that it's really fine. So this fine salt will help to create all these small white patches. And for colors, let me swatch it out for you. For here, we have neutral tint. Feel free to use any brands that you like. So if you've been following along the previous tutorials, you've seen me using a lot of this color. And then we have a turquoise here. So I'll be mixing greenish umber, which is a dark green. This is greenish umber and turquoise turquoise sorry turquoise this one so mixing turquoise with greenish umber you will get a color like this let me swatch it out properly for you this is greenish umber and this is turquoise and then when you mix both you get this evergreen color Next, we have green umber, it's brown, and then here I'm using a tiny bit of brown pink, which is a dirty yellow, and then yellow ochre, this yellow ochre, and this is optional, I've added some red. Any red will do. Yeah, so this is the colors that we'll be using for this painting. Alright, so here's the pencil sketch. Feel free to pause right here if you want to sketch along. Okay, so let's dive right in. And here I have my flat brush. So just soaking in lots of water. Okay, and then we're going to start painting from the top of the skies. So I'll just wet the entire area, the top of the skies with water. Okay, and then let it sit in for a little while. And yes, let's have our salt on standby, just right here. Okay, and then let's start from the left, going in with neutral tint. We'll start with the darkest color. Okay, so I'm going to paint this way, showing the shape of the trees, the pine trees in this direction. And if you feel that your paint is spreading out a lot, spreading out too much, that means that your mixture, your paint's mixture is too watery. So just do this. Absorb, allow the paper towel to absorb the water to make it less watery. And then paint in brush strokes like so. So we need to work really quickly. You can see I'm leaving some white gaps in between. And then let's move on. I'm going to add some turquoise and greenish umber. Let's darken this a little more because then it will dry a lot lighter later on. OK, 
रखें ग्रीनिश अंबर and then let's transition into a warm colors before i do that i'm going to take a little bit of snow and then apply it around this area so i'm going to apply put more salt here Okay, let me just blend this out. Now at this point, I'm just going to lift the paper up and have it flowing downwards. Okay. And then let's move on to some browns. So I'm going to use uh, burnt umber. Okay. So I'm just going to blend the top bit a bit. Okay, and then now changing to yellow ochre. You can see here, this part of the paper is already dry, so just go in and re-wet the area. I think it's because I have my air conditioning on. So I'm just going to switch it off. Okay. I'm bringing in some of that burnt umber into the yellow ochre. Okay, and to make it a little more, um, increase a bit more contrast, I'm going to add some darker brown around the bottom, just like that. Okay, and then with the flat brush, just blend this out. Okay, and to make it a little interesting, I'll just add a touch of red here to increase that little bit of contrast. And let's bring some of that neutral tint over. Okay, and then here we put quite a bit of salt. I'm going to reduce the amount of salt towards the left. Okay, just like so. And then let's leave the top. And I'm going to wet the bottom area. So I can see that I have to work really fast for this. Okay, so let's bring some shadows into the snow. I'm using a very light shade of neutral tint. And then let's bring the colors down. So we have more shadows here. And 
And then here is quite plain, so I'm going to add some bushes. So here I have a very light shade of neutral tin and I've mixed some of that turquoise in as well to bring over the colors from this side. So your colors don't have to look exactly the same as mine. Feel free to create your own version of colors. And then I'm going to add some warmth to it. Okay, and then let's add some salt here, a tiny bit. Okay, not too much. Okay, and then let's keep painting out these shadows. to add some brown pink which is a dirty yellow using a dry bar brush really dry brush like this just adding a bit more touch of accents to let it stand out a little more but this step is optional I just want to make this area more interesting so so give it a, a, little, a little bit of pop to it okay and then now i'm going to remove this to let it lie flat and just going to tilt it around to let the colors flow while it's still moist you can see the salt effect turning out really nice so once we've once we've dropped in the salts, try not to touch or disturb them anymore. And yeah, let it do its own thing. So I think I'm done for the first layer. Let's leave this to dry and then we'll come back later. Alright, so it's fully dry and I've removed all the salt. And you can see how pretty all these turn out. Especially this ones here. The salt is applied after we paint and then we get all these more prominent salt marks and the ones which are applied which are sprinkled on when the paper is slightly more dry you can see the effects are less obvious and also this one also it's really nice how it turns out and right now let's go ahead and paint in the details so i'm going to start with the tree trunks here so I'll just use a small brush and then I'm going to mix brown with a little bit of neutral tint. Get a dark brown color and then let's draw in a bigger tree here. Okay, and then for the smaller branches, I'm going to use this liner brush. And then I'm painting this in broken lines, leaving some gap in between those white salt areas. Okay, and then now let's paint the house so I'll have the light shining from the top right and the shadow will fall down on the left and I'm using a very light wash of neutral tint And then 
let's pull the shadow down. But before I'm going to do that, let's just gently wet this area before we paint in the shadows. That will help to create soft, a very soft shadow with soft edges. Okay, and then I'm going to add a small chimney. Okay, I'm going to draw in the details for this bushes over here and then just draw in thin lines like so so here I'm using two colors I'm using some dark brown and also a neutral tint for the darker shadows Okay, and then let's paint in more details here. I'm going to use a dark brown for this. As we move further, I'm going to make the shade lighter and smaller. Okay, and then let's draw some strings. And let's give it a little more correct. I'm going to add some dots around here as though it's a knot around where the string is tied on it. Alright, and then let's add some splatters. Okay, and then I'm going to add in some more shadows for the house, just to finish it off. Let's draw in the windows. Okay, so I'll probably just leave this house white. If you like, feel free to paint brown in for a wooden cabin if you like. But I think I'm just going to leave this house nice and white. Alright, so I've already peeled off the masking tape and giving you a close-up. Look how gorgeous all this turn out. It's like those kind of gave the effect like a snowflake okay and then let me just sign and that's the end for today's tutorial so if you're going to give this a go i recommend that you play around with the salt and then see how it turns out on your painting and also try giving a go at playing around with the amount of salt that you use 
the of course the more salt you use, the more of these effects you get, the lesser you get, then you get more spaced out salts around here. For example, you could use lesser salt in the front and then maybe slightly more salt towards the background. So up to you, feel free to play around. And then the other thing to take note is also the time when you sprinkle in the salt. For example, this one is done immediately after I wet, after I applied the paints. So the salt effects are more prominent. And then these ones are applied much later when the paints are close to drying, which is why you see them appearing not so much. I think this is applied a lot earlier than this one. So you can see that this area, the white areas sort of blend into each other and you get these larger areas of the salt coming out, the salt effects coming out. And this one, they are more individual effects because this is slightly later than this. So yeah, different timing and different quantity of salts give you different effects, different beautiful salt effects that can play around with the snow for these winter landscapes. I'd like to show you another painting that I've also done. So you can see that you get very different salt effects in this one as compared to here. Also because of the amount of salt I've used and the timing that I've applied, you get different effects. This one is slightly different. I've played or I've added more autumn colors. You can see a bit more red and orange, yellow. And then I like how this area here turned out as well. So yeah, very different um, snowy effects that you get from both. And here I'm using a wooden cabin as compared to here a simple white house. So yeah, just sharing with you some ideas that you can play around while painting this winter landscape. And if you haven't already done so, do check out the past weeks of Christmas Marathon tutorial. We've painted a few lovely winter landscapes. Do check it out. And yeah, that's all from me today. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Happy painting and I'll see you in the next one.